This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can give objects rounded corners with Adobe Illustrator. And this is one of my favorite features in Illustrator because unlike other applications, Illustrator makes it really easy to take an object and give it rounded corners however you'd like. Now let me demonstrate how this works. For this demonstration I'll be using a letter, so I'm going to grab the Type tool, I'm going to click on the canvas and I'm just going to create a capital letter A like that. Now let me grab the Select tool and scale this up. I'm going to hold Shift to lock the proportions like that. And if you're using a letter like I am, you're going to have to create outlines from this first. So we'll go, come over here to where it says Type and click on Create Outlines. If you're just using a regular shape, you don't have to do that. But if you're using a letter, make sure to convert it to an outline first. And let me just center that up on the page here. Okay, so we have these sharp corners on this letter A here. In order to give this rounded corners, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the Direct Selection tool. The keyboard shortcut for that would be the letter A. And if you notice, let me zoom in on this. To zoom in, I'm just going to hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel. If you notice, with the Direct Selection tool, we have these anchor points going around the object here. Now, if I click on one of these anchor points and click in and drag it, you can see I can change the shape and the uh, structure of this object here. Now, also within the uh, Direct Selection tool is these little live corner widgets, these little round handles right here called live corner widgets. And if you click and drag one of them, you can see it rounds the corners of the entire shape like that. Now, if you want to do it, just go ahead, undo it, just click on Control Z to undo what you just did right there. Let's say you want to round just one of these corners. To do that, you'll want to click on the, click on the handle first, okay? And then once you click on it, so just that one is selected, now you can click and drag it. And as you can see, it is rounding just that corner right there. Okay, now let me undo that. Now let's say you want to round multiple corners. Maybe not every single corner in this design, but maybe just two or three of them, okay? So to do that, click on just one right here, and then hold Shift and click on just the other one like that. And then hold Shift again and click on the other one right there. I'm going to use three of them for this demonstration. And now if I click and drag, you'll notice it is rounding those three corners right there, just like that. Okay, so let me go ahead and undo that. Now if you want to round your corners, based on a specific uh, radius, like a, like a numerical input, what you can do is you can double click on the uh, live corner widget and you'll get this little menu that pops up. And what you could do here is you can change the radius based on a pixel number. And the radius is the distance between this handle and the edge of the, uh, the curve right there. Increasing it makes it more rounded, decreasing it makes it less rounded like that. And then you also have these other options over here. You can give this like an inverted an inverted corner like that or you can give it like a, a squared corner like that and you get the idea. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel on that. I'm gonna round this corner right here. There you go, as you can see. Now sometimes you may notice that when you're trying to round the corners of an object, you may notice that some of the corners don't have those live corner widgets. This is probably a bad example. Every single one of my corners has one here. Usually this happens though, sometimes you will uh, grab the direct selection tool and maybe like for example this corner right here doesn't have this uh, live corner handle for you to manipulate. The reason why usually is because the object is too small so if you go ahead and enlarge the object it'll probably populate. So let me take this, let me scale this down like this. Now if I zoom in on this, what's the size of this right here? This is 16 pixels by 13 pixels. If I grab this direct selection tool, okay all of my all of my live corner handles are still there, so maybe this letter isn't a good example. But there are times where you're going to run into an instance where you don't have these handles. And if you do, just go ahead and just make that larger, scale it up by a lot, as much as possible, and then go back and see you should have those live corner handles there. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can easily round the corners of objects using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.